Okay, welcome to the course intro video for Computer Science 201, take two. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to give you a little tour around our Moodle site and WebAssign so that you will know what to expect from the class as you get started. So I'm in our Moodle site right now. So first thing you might notice, um, if you've taken a class with me before, Usually there is a week for every week of the semester. There's a block. Um, but the right now my blocks only go up through the week of February 7th because I am building this course as we go. So um, we have only three weeks up so far. Um, as I get things uh, done, uh, you'll see weeks, more weeks pop up. Um, you click each of these little arrows to open what's in the block, and I will show you what's in each one uh, in a minute. Um, up at the top, we have class announcements. That's where I'll post anything that I need to communicate to you with urgency. It also will forward those messages to your student email account. And then we have the syllabus and other documents folder. So let's start with the syllabus. So this is an online class, so you will mostly communicate with me via email um, or my Zoom office hours. Um, if you want to see me in person, I am in the math studio on campus, which is North 402 from 930 to 1030 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or we can set up an appointment um, in person or virtual if none of these times work for you. The required material for the materials for the class is a WebAssign access code. Uh, it can be purchased at the bookstore or you can purchase directly by logging into our WebAssign course. Um, the access to WebAssign comes with an electronic version of the text, Discrete Mathematics with Applications, 5th edition by Susanna Epp. Um, it's optional. You can buy uh, a hard copy of the text if you want, but it's not required. Um, so the course description, um, it's an introduction to discrete mathematics. So you'll see this is pretty much a math class, even though it's um, designated computer science. We'll study structures and concepts that are useful to computer science from the following areas of math. Set theory, strings and formal languages, propositional and predicate calculus, relations and functions, and basic number theory. Um, I will try to point out where things connect and are useful in computer science, but do be aware heading in that this is a math class. Um, what to expect in class? It's run entirely online. The components of the course will all be accessed via Moodle and WebAssign. Um, each week you're responsible for working through approximately three lessons, which means watch the lesson demo video and take notes in the posted course packet or a notebook. Read the course text as needed, and complete the homework assignment for the lesson in WebAssign. After you work through the week's lessons, you can post any questions, insights, points of confusion, or connections you have made in the weekly discussion forum. Uh, let's see, resources for help. Um, talk to me anytime. <clears throat> Talk to each other, get form study groups. You can always work on campus together or, um, or set up times to meet on Zoom. Moodle uh, is gonna be the home base for our course. The Math Studio um, is a really valuable resource. You, they, we have an on-campus version and a virtual version. I will show them to you in Moodle. Peer tutors can meet with you in person or virtually. And we have WebAssign and GCC tech support. Your grade is based on discussion forums. You need to post at least once a week. Homework, all done in WebAssign. Um, couple notes about that. WebAssign will give you immediate feedback if you got the question right or wrong. You get 100 tries, which is basically unlimited, to get each question right. You always have access to hints, tutorials, eBooks, the answer, and the complete solution in the event that you get stuck. You can always choose to practice another version if you need more practice. We have quizzes, at-home quizzes that are paper and pencil quizzes that you will scan and submit through Moodle. Um, these are open resource except for the help of another person. You cannot consult another person in any way. Same for exams. 
These are taken at your home. They're not, the exams are not paper and pencil. They're in WebAssign, but I do, I will ask you to submit your written work, um, your paper and pencil written work for those. And same rules apply. It, you can use resources other than people. You can look at your notes or your book, but you cannot talk to other people. Same rules for the final exam. And then for makeup, um, homework can always be submitted late for a 10% penalty on the unfinished portion of the assignment. Um, if you need to submit something late, you can just click request an extension whenever needed. I have it set to automatically grant extensions. Um, other than that, makeups are generally not given unless there was some extraordinary circumstance. So I think that is the highlights of the syllabus. I think you should definitely go back and read the whole thing when you have a few moments, but we are gonna jump ahead and back into the syllabus and other documents folder. Let's look at the online schedule by week. So this is an overview of the entire semester <clears throat> of what we are covering, what homework is due, and what other stuff is due. Um, I suggest that you print this and hang it in your workspace or save it to a prominent spot, um, like on your desktop computer. And then finally, how to submit written work. When I want you to submit something written, like handwritten, a quiz, or your work for a test, um, you need to submit it as a single file, one file, multiple pages if necessary, and it has to be a PDF. There are a multitude of ways to make that happen. You can use a scanner, you can use your phone um, with an app. I like the app Cam Scanner, but there are lots of them. Um, you could import the quiz into um, like a tablet and, and do the whole thing on a tablet, save it as a PDF. Whatever works for you is fine, as long as I get a PDF, a single PDF file as your submission. Okay, heading back to our Moodle site. Um, you'll notice January 24th just automatically popped open. That's because that's the current week. Um, you can close it if you don't want to look at it. <clears throat> so let's look at the different blocks here. We have course resources, course lesson packets. These provide a template for you to take notes on each lesson. You can either print them or take notes um, in a notebook, whichever works best for you. I will post these as I get them written. So, so far there's only one packet up here for the first three lessons of the semester. A blank version and a filled in version. Then there is a YouTube playlist, a link to a YouTube playlist with all of the lessons for the semester. Let's take a look at that. You'll see so far there are only three lessons in there. I will be adding to them each week. And here's the link to WebAssign. That's where you'll do, um, you'll access the textbook, do homework, tests. There's some other resources in there. Um, the week one block shows you where to register, how to register. So there's a link right here, how to register for WebAssign. All right, the next block is Math Studio and Office Hours. So the Math Studio schedule is right here. You'll see some hours are virtual and some hours are on campus. Um, the on-campus hours are in North 402 and the virtual hours, the link is written out here, but this is also the link. Okay, so you could type it in if you want, but the, you can just click this link. And then my office hours are on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 11 at this Zoom link. And then each week of the semester will look very similar. There'll be a checklist that you are to check things off as you do them. And anything you need to complete the checklist will be either in the course resources block or right underneath the checklist. And each week of the semester will look very similar, and I will be adding weeks um, as we go. So that is Moodle. Let's take a quick look at WebAssign. This is what WebAssign looks like when you first log in. These are all your assignments. Let's say if we want to see all of them, we can click More. 
and you can see all the assignments for the semester are already posted. The due dates are listed over here on the far right. Um, and to do an assignment, you just click on it. If you want to see the ebook, you over in this menu on the left, just click ebook and the book will open. All right, one last thing I wanted to show you in Moodle is where to find your grades. So if you click these three little bars over here, open that up and click grades, you will see all of your grades for the semester here. That's it. Um, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to working with you all this semester.